You be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. He says you put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. And there'll never come a time in your life where Satan decides to leave you alone. Satan attacks you because you're God's child and he hates God's property. Satan attacks you because you're the light of the world and he's the prince of darkness. Satan attacks you because you're the truth and he's the father of lies. Satan attacks you because you're a soldier of the cross. You're anointed. You have the word of God. You have covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. God has given you authority. Use it so that you can have victory and peace in this life. And if you say you want to live victoriously and abundantly and yet you don't pray, then I don't believe you. Because prayer is how we live in the abundance of our God. You can never exhaust God's resources because He can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. You cannot exhaust God's power. Our God is an awesome God. He is full of grace and truth. He is of the Almighty. El Shaddai, the conqueror of death, hell, and the grave. He's the conqueror of sickness and death. He's the conqueror of powers and principalities. He's the conqueror from Calvary. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the Lord of glory and is coming soon with power and great glory. This is about the eternal souls of men and women. This is about your sons and your daughters. This is about the future of this nation. It's time for those who name the name of God to suit up and show up. This is a fight to the finish and I intend to win it with the help of Almighty God. Do you want it? Then fight for it. Do you want it? Then fight for it.